Hey folks, in my videos I've gotten a lot of questions about how to craft legendary items or what is slamming. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video going over that, uh, give all the different details, some of the tricks you can do, some of the restrictions, things you can't do, and try and quickly go over as much as I can. So first off, you've probably seen items like this in chat or um, from content creators or stuff like that with the red text. So this is a legendary item. It's made by combining a exalted item and a unique with legendary potential. Uh, so just to get this out of the way, there's also Weaver's Will items, which are different. So this is not the same as legendary potential. These gain red stats as you play. So this is what it looks like as you level. It starts adding the stats, reducing the Weaver's Will number. And then eventually when you're done, you get one tier of affix per Weaver's Will. So um, back to the legendary potential, uniques can have anywhere from zero LP, which means they can't be made into a legendary, up to four LP, which is extremely rare. If you get a four LP, chances are it's probably something you want to hang on to until you have a very good slam ready to go. Uh, usually it's gonna be not great items, but sometimes you get super lucky and you get something awesome. Here's a quick clip of the slam process. Uh, you can see I just finished the Temporal Sanctum dungeon and I combine a unique and exalted in the device at the end. Because it's a one LP, it will take one affix at random from the exalted item and add it for the new legendary item. I'll jump right into what you can and can't do with slams. Uh, so this is an example of what you could slam. Here is a exalted item with four affixes, one exalted stat. You can see here it's a tier seven. Uh, and here is a unique item with LP of the same type. So this is a ring. It doesn't matter that it's a ruby ring. That's fine. The base type itself is irrelevant. So this would be a valid slam. Some of the things you can't do in this case, you see here is a rare item. It has no exalted affix. You can't slam these. Here is a exalted item with three affixes. Uh, so a lot of people ask if you can just use a removal on an item to make your slam more likely. You cannot do that. It's, it's not valid. Uh, it won't let you slam this. Here is another thing. You cannot slam this. And you might be asking why. It's four stats. Uh, the fourth one here is actually sealed. So when you go to the slam, it only sees the three non-sealed stats, and it will say you don't have four affixes. So if you add a, another suffix, making five total affixes, it will allow you to slam, but the slam itself cannot take the sealed affix. Uh, that's also the same for experimental affixes and sealed affixes. It will never take the sealed one. Uh, so yeah, to make this valid, you just add another suffix, and then you can slam. This is a ring, this is an amulet. It has three affix, you couldn't slam it anyway, but you also can't because of the type. Uh, so here's another one that's a little bit interesting. If you cannot equip the item, it will not let you slam it. So here's a slam that I wanted to do, but this chest here is an acolyte. And even though the int itself is a generic stat, I still cannot do the slam because it's not a mage item. One thing to note on that as well, is if you slam an item with a with an acolyte, it could be an acolyte helmet because helmets are always uh, class restricted. If you hit the generic stat, any class can use it. However, if you hit the class stat, as I did here, you can see that the item is class restricted. So keep that in mind if you're making leveling items. If you slam something that has class specific affixes, you'll be prevented from equipping it on other classes. Another thing to note is that you can slam experimental affixes and the unique can take them as well. Uh, so here, this just looks like a normal experimental, but if you look closely, you can see the background a little bit here is purple. This is actually a exalted affix and this is a totally valid slam, you can do that. Uh, if you seal this affix, as I said before, you won't be able to slam anymore because the seal doesn't count. So some, little tricks that you can do if you want to maximize your slamming. Um, you can use Glyphs of Despair, Glyphs of Removal, Runes of Creation, stuff like that in order to improve the item before you slam it. So one example of something I did before is I got an Omnis, which is very rare to get with LP. 
So I wanted to slam a very good necklace into it. And this is what I slammed. You can see I still have it, and that's because I used a rune of creation. Uh, I didn't want to have to recraft this for my next slam, so I rune of creation. I had two attempts, I wasted one, and I'll have another when I get another LP Omnis. So whenever you have something that's like a very, very rare exalted, you probably want to use the rune of creation. Make sure you're careful with your forging potential. Uh, not to use it all up before the creation, because you cannot use creation rune on a zero forging potential item. So I can't duplicate this again. Another thing to note is that you can also use despair. Uh, so this is an example of an item that I'll probably be slamming onto a twisted heart. Uh, if you look at the affixes, you can see it has the T7 frost claws, what I actually want. Int is also good. Uh, that would be acceptable. Ellie res is okay, I'd probably be cool with that too, but I don't really care for necrotic res. So what I can do with this item is I can use a despair on it, which can seal the necrotic uh, res affix, and then I can replace it with something more useful. So what that would look like is, if you see here, the despair has a chance to seal an affix instead of upgrading it. So as far as despairs go, the lower the tier of the affix you're trying to seal, the higher your chance is. Perry the Pig made an excellent video going over all of that. I'll link it in the description. But basically, if you have a four affix item with a tier one, you have a 100% chance to seal. And the chance goes down as you have fewer affixes. And if it's not exalt, but you're always going to be doing it on an exalt, so don't worry about that. If there's only one affix that you care about, Say you have a lot of 1LP items, but no 2LPs. One thing that you can do before slamming is re-rolling the affix values first. So here we'll say I want a perfect int, and I get it. And then you craft your fourth affix, and now you have your slam. And if you want, you can copy it because we have basically unlimited runes of creation as COF, thanks to the prophecy. Uh, another thing that you can do if you're trying to make your item a little bit better before slamming, you can do the gamble with the rune of removal to removing a bad affix. You can end up removing the, uh, the good one. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. It's a lot of information. Um, I'm going to put some notes into a spreadsheet here. Um, you can see some of the rules here and some notes on the Glyph of Despair. I linked the Perry the Pig video here going over the despair chances, but they're listed here as well. And I will put some of the notes I talked about in the video in here as well for your, uh, for your reference. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you like this sort of stuff, subscribe.